Yo, what is going on guys and welcome back to another video here on the channel today. In this video we're going to be using this Mega Knight deck that was created by the best player in Clash Royale history. That is going to be Muhammad Light. We all know Muhammad Light. I don't need to speak anymore about his accreditations. We know him so full credit to him for this deck. And uh, yeah boys, before we get any further into this video, if you do enjoy, do be sure to hit that like and that subscribe button. We're getting so close to 450 subs and I really appreciate every single one of you that watch the channel. So yeah boys, do be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Now, one thing I do love about this deck is the fact that we're taking cards like the wizard, like the minions. Cards that don't really have a place in other decks. Now minions obviously do. In a lot of our decks they do have a, like, a, a good place and they are a good card. So, and the Pekka Bridge spam and things like that as well. But... Um, they're not in a lot of decks, but especially the, the wizard. The wizard just is such a forgotten about card. And I think that is simply obviously due to the fact that there is better kind of options for 5 elixir. But look, he's, he's just killing the archer queen. It is a very good card that's kind of always overlooked. So it's nice to see it being thrown into some decks. And especially decks that are being like played by top, top players like Muhammad Light. And he's currently number three. I don't know if I said I forget if I said or not. He's currently number three in the world with us on one of his mini accounts. So yeah, it's obviously a tried and tested deck. He's doing very, very well with it. Now he's probably gonna go for the earthquake here. Very nice. Next time if we just don't go for the goblins and we go for something else, we can definitely get some good value out of that. We're gonna wall breakers here in front of the wizard. Probably should went for wall breakers behind the wizard and then the log wouldn't have been as big a deal as it was but we're gonna go for our evil skeletons on top of his evil and obviously this deck does involve the evil skeletons which if you've been watching the channel recently you know i've become a rather large fan of i think they're such a fun card they get so much value and i always just enjoy playing them so yeah we're having fun with that and okay we're gonna save our mega knight and next time he goes for his wizard we're gonna or not his wizard his hog rider we're gonna mega knight it I think that will be the best option because he's definitely going to go for his <coughs> hog rider in behind it as well which should get us a lot of value <coughs> excuse my just my croaky voice okay so let's go for a goblin gang here on top of that wizard should no it won't take it to me he's going to do ability this time which of course the right move to make let's go for minor wall breakers up the right very nice getting some good value going then we have our mega knight still coming up the left side which should jump onto tower. He's gonna have to waste a lot of electricity. I know he's placed only plays cycle cards, but them cycle cards do add up. Now we're gonna go minions here and we can get back around to our Mega Knight very soon. And now he goes for the log, thinking that I'm going to put down the goblins, which I don't, but now he's very susceptible to this miners and wallbreaker on push on the left. Very nice. He's gonna go in for his cam, I'm assuming. Didn't need to Goblin Gang now, I probably just went Skellins, but it does, hopefully it won't matter. And yeah boys, we are going to take game number one just like that. And yes, we are back for game number two, let's hop straight into it. So we're just going to cycle our Skellins here first play actually. Get one step closer to them. Evo Skellins as well as allowing him to kind of make the first play without having to leak Elixir. So it's kind of multi-beneficial, you know. We get one closer to our... Uh, Evo and we can just let him put down his knight first. We're gonna go minor here at the bridge to eat the charge And then I honestly got a mega knight here. I think Yeah, that's mega knight definitely could have saved my wizard a bit better there and um, that was just me kind of Not this not being decisive enough. So yeah a bit unfortunate kind of bad decision making from me So we did um we did take a lot of damage to it, but it would have died to the border either way So I don't think it really mattered Oh, we're going to get a jump on the tower. That's quite nice. A shot or two as well. And we have our um, wall breakers going, which should both connect. Oh, we got really nice value there. This is working out very well for us. And I think that that's not going to be full, but I'm just going to let it go. It can get the dash kill. That's all right. <laughs> it, can, it can do that little bit of damage. We'll let him away with it. Okay, so let's go wizard in the back here. Hmm... Wizard's a bit of an unusual card, because because like you never really play it, I never really know what to do. We're going to defensive miner up the left. I was going to minions, but I think the, the, the miner's the better play here. I don't really want to take the charge. Okay, we're going to let the wizard go and see what he's going to do about it. I don't know if he will bother with it or not. He is, and so we can just minion that. <clears throat> and that'll clean that up nice and quickly. Let's hit the zap. Keep the minions alive, and then we can wall breaker here, I think. Let's actually go for the Goblin Gang on the left. Well, Wallbreaker the right. <clears throat> okay, nice. He goes in for his cannon, so we just go Miner on the tower. 
pull a bit more elixir out of him, annoy him a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me, throw it know What's wrong with me? So yeah, we might actually <coughs> go for the skeletons here on top of this Evo. I think that's the best way of cleaning it up. No, we will not actually. He's gonna go graveyard here, hundred percent. I'm imagining he is graveyard, but maybe not actually. Uh, let's go minions on the left. Clean that up. Worst case scenario, he gets like one or two hits off the tower. That's okay. We'll go Goblin Gang here. Yeah, he's going to let that his tower go. So we're going to go Minion plus, or Minor plus Skellens on the left. Hopefully clean that up. We have a lot coming up the left right now. And he is on, on his King Tower. And he's just going to give up. So that is going to be it for game number two. Another dominant victory. And yes, we are back for our third and final game with this deck. And we are going to hopefully pick up another dominant win here. Now, as you can see, this deck is working so, so well. The Evo Skeletons are honestly, I think they're making like a, like a low-key comeback. Obviously, they're kind of outshined by things like the Knight, the Recruits, and uh, so definitely soon to be the Archers because that card looks absolutely incredible. But it's nice to see them kind of having their place. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to kind of seeing if they can come more into decks in the future. So um, we, this guy does have like a bit of an air deck, so we do have our minions, we have our wizard. Wizard's going to do a lot, especially since he is running like the arrows. I'm kind of hoping he doesn't have any other spells, but we'll see what he has. I wonder if he'll have lava hound as well, I would, I would imagine so. We're going to minor, and then we're just going to put in our skeletons. Our skeletons won't do all that much like damage wise, but it's a nice card to just kind of put down so we can get around to our evil that bit quicker. Now we did go for our um, wizard before we went for the goblin gang because the minions just would have cleaned, cleaned that up real quick. So that would have been a waste for us. We're gonna hit him with the with the piggy just because he's rolling his eyes at us. We have the zap ready for the skarmy, which he's not gonna go for. <laughs> Sorry, if I'm talking a bit too fast. Call it my my Irish heritage. Um, okay, we're just gonna mine the towers, keep the pressure high. Itachi is struggling. His um, typical Naruto fan, am I right? <laughs> Not JK. I respect. I respect the Naruto fans. Um, okay, so hmm, what should we do here? We're gonna wait, and we're gonna wizard the. Hmm, what should we do? What should we do? We can't wizard because then he just go balloon opposite lane. So we're gonna split the minions here. I'm expecting a wizard kind of, or no, a balloon behind this. Ooh, that's gonna be good for us, surely. As long as we didn't misplace that onto the giant, which we didn't, but we did kind of still fall into that same mistake. And uh, yeah, we're going to get punished for it big time. We go zap, we go for the minions. He's going to get one hit off, I hope one. He's going to go... He messed up, he messed He missed one, he missed one. Okay, that's fine. Let's roll our eyes at him. Uh, nice, nice. Can we get the zap again? Oh, that's so nice. We're going to BM him just because he was, he was BMing us. We got to BM back, you know. We can't have that disrespect in here. So let's go for the uh, wizard. And we're going to go goblin gang. I'm expecting a freeze here. So I'm going to minions this as well. Yeah, we get froze. We can't. We need to kind of take out this tower. We, we don't have the big spells for it. He goes in for that. He needs those to defend the miner. So I'm not sure what he's doing. Uh, okay, let's just go wall to the left then if he's not going to defend. And I very... Okay. Let's zap that. We're gonna wizard. We can go goblin gang. And let's get our own skeletons going. Hopefully we don't get froze. Our skeletons got destroyed like that, are you serious? Okay, this is gonna be rough. We're gonna go for the Mega Knight in the pockets. We can go miner here. Let's get another wizard going, quick, quick, quick. We need to get this wizard down now, please. Both wizards on the tower, that's gonna be a lot of damage. Nice, he's gonna go for the freeze, we just get the miner on the tower. We're so close, we just need like one, maybe two more zap, well we need done, obviously not one. Okay, he's gonna go for that, if we're definitely gonna lose here, I don't think we can defend this unfortunately enough. He doesn't have freeze, oh we do lose game number three boys. Okay, and yes guys, this is the deck that we did use for today's video, now we did take a bit of an unlucky loss in that third game, simply really just due to the freeze caught us a bit off guard and especially at the end i think with our with our skeleton placement the evil skeleton i think if we kept that alive we win that but 
that's besides the point. We did lose. So yeah, boys, but a very, very strong deck overall. As I'm sure you were shown well enough from the first two games. Uh, the defense, the offense, everything is just so powerful with it. So do be sure to give this deck a try. I mean, if it's if a, the world's best player thinks it's good enough, then it's definitely good enough for all us mere mortals. So yeah, boys, I will see you all in the next video. Do be sure to hit like, hit subscribe, and yeah, peace out.